welcome to Live It Up, your favorite show that focuses on a particular device, fashion accessory, brand or item that is currently hip. Today we'll be discussing nail art. Nail art is a creative way to paint, decorate, enhance and embellish the nails. Well manicured nails go a long way in looking beautiful, neat and well presentable. For this reason, women most especially spend so much time and money to get those perfect nails to complement their beauty. For those who can't grow out their nails without breaking them along the way, there are different types of nails that can be fixed to get that perfect nail look. From beautiful designs that can be done on gel nails, acrylic nails, sculptor nails, wrap nails and others, getting beautiful nails is not far-fetched. The nails business has however been very lucrative over time, as more people go into the business not just for the passion but also for the money involved. Though mostly dominated by the female gender, the men have also meddled into this business. My name is Eguaku John Usayande. I'm from Edo State. I uh, grew up in Wari Delta State. Nail is not something I actually planned doing from the beginning, but I actually find myself doing it and um, I so much fall in love with it as time goes on because I see it, apart from the fact that it puts food on my table and brings money to my pocket, it's also fun for me. I end up creating things, I end up creating um, art on uh, fingernails and I see that ladies appreciate it and even guys also admire my jobs to and even male and female like so it's something as time goes on I begin to fall in love with and build more interest in and I, I decide to take it to the next level which I am now and I tend to take it further to a greater level. The nail business it's very lucrative business if you know what you're doing you get the good product and do good job you will sell. Believe me people love to pay for good job. So if you can solve their problem and satisfy them, believe me, they will come back for you again. You don't have to go through, just make sure you study, you do your practice regularly and do your research properly and know what you're doing. You're going to do very, very well in the nail business. Normally your nails are made to last for like two to three weeks, then you will feel. Now some people are very good with carrying extension, while some people are not. Now, it's not um, a big deal. What I do, I try to educate my client why they're doing their nails, so why they want to cut it, I let them know. I find out if they're good with it. If not, I always advise them on the length. And before they leave, I tell them to be very careful with their extension because now they're not just working with their bare nails, but they have something on their nails extra that if they have an accident with it, it's going to pain them and it's going to damage their natural nails. So, and extension is not what you have to do constantly. It's, a, it's an occasional um, base you can wear your nails because if you do it constantly, you damage your natural nails. But if you do it occasionally, you have to let your nails rest and stay for a while, then you can have your nails still in good state. But if you have to do nails back to back, back to back, you cause more damage than repair to your natural nails. So it's an occasional base fashion that you have to do so don't do your nails all the time give some break for your time for your nails to rest so and then make sure the studio you visit that the nail technicians they are um, good at what they're doing they're professionals and they have um, what to call um, a good sterilizing system and they're very careful with your nails so that you don't have more damage to your nails unlike before in the old days where our parents used to do their nails we have just very simple nails the glitters the paint and the go but now nail business is a very big business now making of nails you have so many art you can play on nails you can go on instagram and just type nails and you see a lot of nails you'll be confused but these are artwork and only technicians we are all unique in our own ways believe me no matter what you do even you do a plain nails without design and it's very nice and neat believe me you're doing a very nice job people will patronize you if you look at the nails line you see that you even have more male doing nails compared to female right now even here we still have the female in the game but the male are more outstanding compared to female probably because it's a female job and the male is doing it right now the guys are doing it and they are doing it so well with so much love and passion and dedication there are different type of nails we have the stick on we have the acrylic nails we have the art gel we have poly gel and new uh, what's called nails keep coming and new style keep coming every day but the kind of nails i'm going to create today is called acrylic nails 
with um, the marble design with the ice sugar over it and with the Swarovski stones and um, the ombre effect. So I'm just going to mix them together and just create something very beautiful for us to see. It's up to you if you know how to control your acrylic, that is the major thing you need to get. Acrylic um, application is more about control. It's more about control. You have to know how to control very, very well. You have to know how to control very, very well. So if you can control your acrylic, you're fine. Remember, don't let it get over the, cut the cuticle. If it does, you will have a problem with your extension. It's with pull off on time or when you're trying to file you start filing the clients and instead of the acrylic that you have on the nails so now this is a design i'm going to put it under i'm going to score i'm going to encapsulate this design under the nails if you look closely the hand position is not straight I direct it down so that the acrylic bead can have a flow downward and it will be easy for me to control. So instead of it flowing right to left, it's just going to flow down. And I want us to take note that um, acrylic does not make nails last long like this amount of acrylic you put i mean the height of it does not make the nails last long what makes your nails last long it's the process in which you, the technician used to fix the nails like from the foundation from the base you have to do your preparation properly you have to make sure you clear ss cuticle you have to make sure there is no moisture on the nail plate Some people use the block buffer and um, I'm comfortable with this because it's long enough for me to work with. To anyone you have, believe me, you can achieve a good result with what you have. Application of stones can be done in several ways. I can put my base coat and put my stones. And when it's dried, I can put the top coat by the side. But right now, I put my top coat straight up. And I'm going to put my stone. So now, this also has to do with your creativity. Believe me, making of nails is fun. You can just have, go ahead and have fun and fun and fun while you just try to create something nice.
um, I actually call it uh, extra protection. So that in case any part that has um, top coat escape, where the top coat did not get to, I just use my detail pen and then I just apply it gently to the side. Mind you, not on top of the stones, just to the side of the stone. And if there's any space you put, this is a wrap of all I've been doing. See, so this is the acrylic extension, like I told you, the ombre effect, the designs, encapsulated design. Our Instagram handle is at Kedov Nail Studio. So check us out there, follow us, like up, show us love, comment, and you can walk in. We don't do appointment, just walk in for your service. Believe me, you always get someone to attend to you. And that's it, guys. Until next week, when we come with another exciting episode of Live It Up, it's bye for now.